Have you ever checked your blood pressure first thing in the morning only to be shocked at how high your numbers are? You may have even thought this can't be right because I feel fine. Well, what if I told you that there's one simple habit that millions of people are doing and it's completely wrecking their blood pressure readings, making it look much higher than it really is. And the surprising thing, it's not your posture. It's not your cuff. It's simply this, drinking too much water, too soon before checking your blood pressure. And most people have no idea that this is happening. But let me explain. When you wake up in the morning, you've gone six, seven, eight hours without any water. You're a little dehydrated, I would say. Naturally, you reach for this big glass of water because you're so thirsty and that's a healthy habit. But here's where the problem comes in. If you drink this large glass of water and then five, 10, 15 minutes later, you sit down to check your blood pressure, that water will temporarily raise your blood pressure and throw off your readings. So why does this happen? Because when you drink water quickly, it increases your blood volume. This stretches your blood vessels, stimulates pressure receptors in your heart and your great veins, and triggers a reflex which increases the sympathetic nervous system. Your heart starts beating harder, your blood vessels constrict, and your blood pressure starts to climb. In fact, research shows that drinking a glass or two of water can raise your systolic pressure, that's the top number, by five to 15 points, sometimes even more, for 30 to 45 minutes. That's a huge swing. And it can mean the difference between a normal reading and a hypertensive reading. And if you or your doctor are tracking those numbers to manage your health, this one simple mistake could lead to false alarms, unnecessary worry, or even medication changes you really don't need. Now here's the deeper physiology behind this. When water enters your stomach and intestines, it rapidly moves into the bloodstream, expanding plasma volume. Baroreceptors in the aorta, carotid sinus, and atria sense this change and signals your brain to adjust heart rate and vascular tone. At the same time, your kidneys begin shifting their filtration and hormone release to handle the extra volume. But these mechanisms don't act instantly. They take time to stabilize. And during that window, your blood pressure can spike. So let me be clear. I'm not saying you can't have water before you take your blood pressure. If you want to take a few small sips of water, that's perfectly fine. A little water won't make much of a difference. The problem is, is that when you drink that full cup or those two cups of waters, especially when you're chugging it quickly, this is when the spike happens. So if you're heading to the doctor or you're about to check your blood pressure at home, many of us do it first thing in the morning, and you just want to wet your mouth and take a few sips, no worries at all. But if you're going to drink a large glass of water, give your body at least 30 to 45 minutes to stabilize before you take your readings. Because even something this small, when done wrong, can completely change your blood pressure results. And if you're trying to manage your heart health, which many of us do, or adjusting your medications based on those numbers, you want to get the most accurate reading possible. So remember, it's not just what you eat, how you sit, or how you breathe. Even the timing of the glass of water matters tremendously more than you can think. Follow this tip and you'll finally get your blood pressure reading you can trust that gives you a true picture of what your heart health is really all about. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please share it with your friends and family, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.